I got my coconut water, I got my backwood, and I got some ginger ale. Organic, pure coconut water, by the way, on the PV Truest morning show. <laughs> I'm actually wondering if y'all guys will ever pick up on who I'm like uh, impersonating right there in the uh, in the first opening lines a lot of times. What I'm saying, the PV Truest morning show. I'll probably send you a hundred bucks if you're able to guess it. I'm going to keep doing it, though. But it sounds hilarious. It makes it sound like it's actually, like, my personality. Keep you guessing. That is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, in America. Are we keeping them guessing your next moves? Let me open up my uh, notes. I had uh, a couple of thoughts this morning. Three things I wanted to um, talk about this morning on the PV Trolls Morning Show. Something that I think is holding a lot of men back in America, maybe even women back in America. Very, very easy. One of my good friends, um, Slim, he had told me this a long time ago. Bro, vicinity. Vicinity. You're feeling the way you do because you are dating in vicinity. What we are doing as men a lot of times is we go to the corner store, we go to the mall around the corner, we go to church around the corner, we go to school around the corner, we do everything we do around the corner, right? My Duke trip. And what do you see? Facinity. You limit your people, places, or things when you think about the vicinity that you're meeting people. You're meeting them inside a little corner, probably your zip code, maybe your area code, excuse me, whatever. It doesn't matter. Your zip code, let's go with that, right? Your zip code, a lot of people aren't dating people outside of their zip code. So they're more so going to be um, not forced, but you'll be more likely to not get outside of your comfort zone or you'll most likely deal with the same personality or characteristics every other mile with whom you decide to put your emotions into, which I would say is a terrible idea. I'm not saying that you should, you know, cut everyone off in your vicinity. No, 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 no. But what I am saying Maybe get out of the house. Maybe get out of the area. Maybe get out of the state. And then talk to people. Talk to women. Talk to men. Outside of your routine that you see every day. Because you're going to keep getting the same things. You're going to date the same type of woman. And maybe they're not the same at the core. But maybe the things in the, the people places and things they appreciate, the places they go, the things they see, like maybe that is influencing their thought processes when they're talking to you or when you guys find yourself commuting, right? We have to think that people are limited in knowledge. They're limited in emotion when they're in their vicinity. How many different, um, how many different perspectives of life can you get to just walking to Fisher's Chicken on Levy City Court, right? How many? Like, how many times do we go to the corner store and see the same people, the same conversations, the same clothing? You don't think that, you know, if you're trying to get out of that last um, cycle of uh, ruminating, you don't think that might play into it maybe a little bit? Let me take a swig of my ginger ale. I know I'm speaking fast. Try to keep up. Try to keep up. Because something in my heart told me to say, you needed to hear something about vicinity this morning. Get out of your vicinity. I know people who have not been out of their area code, zip code, not their city, their state, and they have an opinion. How do you have an opinion when you haven't left your area? You've been watching this on TV. Hmm. You've been listening to the radio. Hmm. You haven't went out and experienced it for yourself. Hmm. See, I was stuck inside a vicinity until I went to go experience things for myself and then came back and realized where people were at mentally. 
it wasn't necessarily uh, less. It wasn't necessarily more. But the perspective was definitely limited. If your perspective is limited, do you think that you're willing to uh, or able to deal with other people's personalities as they are growing? When they finally start to open up out their shell and learn new things, do you think that you'll be able to make that transition if you're limited in your experiences? Why do you think that when, uh, you know, hot chick sees dude from, you know, doesn't look like he's from around here, that, you know, her eye, eyeballs light up? It's because like he might have something that she's never seen that she could provide. <laughs> It may not be the perk selling junkie over there in the corner. You know what I mean? She might have had three of those. It might be the baby dad, you know, or something like that. But, you know, that's a whole different uh, podcast, that's a whole different um, spiel or a segment. Because who's to say that um, you go into these different vicinities, you're not getting caught in another person's nightmare. That is a thing you could probably look out for. But I feel like if you started at ground zero and you were just dating a certain type of person or you were with a certain type of person and you were in a certain area for a while hopefully it scolded you to be able to be a little bit more cultured to where you can kind of see what not to do you know what what things didn't work out let's not go over to another area code or another zip code another state and then try this there but that's the thing a lot of things get presented and, you know, packaged up a little bit different. But, you know, that's from you having the vicinity mindset. You know, even for jobs, a lot of times they're not going to be on your side of town. They're not going to even be in your state for the most highest paying jobs. You have to get out your comfort zone and what? Get out your vicinity. Some things we talk about here on the PV Truest Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I'm heading home to someone out there who needs to get the fuck up and go. Get the fuck up and go see some things. Get up. What are you doing in your vicinity? What has that done for you? You get no awards for this. No one cares. In every decade, your vicinity is probably going to change. Are you going to change with it? Or will you drown into the uh, nothing? Until you're forced to be in your vicinity because you haven't grown enough. You're forced to settle to these people, places, or things to which you are from. Then you create this cycle of ruminating. Because you would just be with whoever you're with trying to think about how to get out of the situation. It's hard when you uh, are limited in your knowledge and your walk. So I get it. It's easy to stay inside your vicinity. It's easy to have the same logic. It's easy to eat at the same places and get in the same habits that we've seen people before us within our vicinity fall victim to what will we be doing to change the narrative even in your own families maybe the people places and things that you are seeing every day needs to change maybe it'll start with something very little maybe it'll be just you know Maybe DoorDash or something. Instead of going to McDonald's or Taco Bell or Burger King. Maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. Look outside your vicinity and see if there's something else that, you know, makes your stomach twinkle. That's just a little bit of advice from uh, your Uncle PV Truis on the PV Truis Morning Show. I'd like you to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, please send this to somebody who needs to get outside of their vicinity. Um... I have no website at the moment of this recording. Some uh, agents have stole my original website, so I'm working on a .io here soon. And um, all these episodes will be there for you to watch and um, listen to. Eventually, we'll have the cameras in here so you can literally watch. But um, we're starting. We're starting somewhere, yo. This is different for me. It's therapeutic. I know someone out there is listening, and if maybe not this year. Years to come, someone will find these. 
because I'm doing great things. I'm getting out of my comfort zone, I'm getting out of my vicinity. There will be people that I will meet that will be able to change the way I look at life and the way I operate, you know, even with business now. I'm open to it. I realize a lot of my shortcomings in life. They were to my own fault. But we can change the narrative, y'all. We can get outside our vicinity. We have to walk out the door. Go towards it. We got this. Come on, America. Let's get out our, let's get out our comfort zones for a minute, man. <clears throat> let's eat some different shit. Let's drink some different stuff. You know? We got this, man. I know times is rough. But we built for it tough, aren't we, America? <laughs> Uh, the PV Truist Morning Show. Everyone have a blessed day, man. You guys go drink some water, all right? <laughs>